What's up, everybody? I don't know how the audio is going to sound, but the video looks kind of bad. I'm in a hotel recording this video because I wanted to give an update where this series is at. So currently, um, this video you're about to watch is actually showing the installation or the finishing details that doesn't go into too much description of the rest of the system. Now, I have this VESC motor controller that I'm using in this particular application which has CAN bus data. Now me and Riley made a whole bunch of uh, videos on CAN bus data, but ultimately without writing a bunch of extra custom code, I couldn't get that to work properly. So we ditched that, we got a different controller, we put in an analog voltage and current uh, monitoring uh, module and used that to get our data from our battery. So. I don't have a great detailed video on some of this stuff, so if you guys want to see more detailed information or you want me to explain it better, I'll do that at the end of the video uh, series if you want me to. So I'll explain the Beagle Bone and the modules and how I put them together. Um, it won't be like a demo, but it'll be a little more information. So that's where we're at. We got a few more videos. The very next couple videos are starting to fly and then finding some problems. and. It gets interesting and then there's a pretty crazy video coming towards the end of the actual experience here. So that's what I got for you. Let me know what you think down in the comments about um, explaining more about the actual hardware side on the electronics. So peace out. Have a good one. Bye. Hello. Uh, why is... Why is my shop such a mess? Because we are working on our plane. We haven't cleaned it up yet in like weeks. <laughs> it's been at least a week. What, what, what do we do exactly? Fix all that mess in there to neatness. We did? Yeah. Show me. Well, this was all everywhere so we added clips on there. This one got too full, and then Daddy found some more, which is good. And then I hot wired or soldered a bunch of stuff over here. That way, it all those extra cords we didn't need. It's much better now. Cool. And then what's this? Our antenna. Well, for? Yeah. yeah, it's our antenna for our. That is called mission control. Mission control. It's a ground station. And then... Hey, we get, I can see my light. Yeah, so that means it's not affixed not yet. Not fixed. Right? Really fixed. Oh, oh it, does, it does say... It does say really fixed, actually. Okay. Oh, it quit. Oh, no, it didn't. Why is it pink? So, uh, I noticed there's a weird thing happening when we try to... There, see the red light just came on? Oh, it's not actually active yet. That's why it says it's fixed. It's not actually fixed. So if you watch, the red light will start flashing. Once the red light flashes, that means the system is active and working. And it's like, there it goes. There it's it goes. It's like a siren. Oh, see the servos went dirt dirt. It keeps going. Yeah, so now, turn on your remote. Yeah, it does not, see? GPS is not a no signal. Things around the middle of the ocean. Oh, okay, turn it on. You only have to push it once to turn it on. To turn it off, you have to hold it. 
So you should have some control. Yeah, so stand over here so I can see it, because I can't see both at the same time. So you should have some control. Okay. It's working. So what about the throttle? I don't think the throttle... Throttle doesn't work because the plane is not armed. So if we go over here and we click on actions, we're going to make sure the throttle's down. We're going to arm the plane. It's going to say, hey, are you sure? Because we don't have all our safeties on yet. So we arm the plane. Now you should have throttle control. Yep. Try it. Spin it up. All right. So you have literally a working airplane. There's only one thing that's major that we have to finish. I want to get the battery data. We have no battery data. So I want to get the battery data from the CAN bus, which we I wired up. We wire, I guess I wired that one up. I wired up the CAN bus. I can read the data. I just need to figure out a way to get the data into the Arduino, Arduino pilot. The other reason we had to clean up all that wiring is because on the back side of the wing, this thing sticks down. Oh, yeah, that. And that takes up quite a bit of space, which typically on the gas version doesn't really matter, but in our case, it's a big deal. So, um, let's, uh, let's throw a prop on it real quick. I want you to feel how much power this thing's got. Because I did this yesterday. Alright, let's set it down here. Set the remote down for a second. Can I turn it off? No. Okay. We need to disarm it so we don't break our face. <laughs> yeah. So disarm. It should say disarm. Now use the throttle. Make sure it's not working. Which you did not set all the way down, by the way. All the way down. The throttle got to be all the way down. This is all the way down. Okay. Earlier it was not. You mean like that? Yes. Turn it in auto. Manual. There we go. Cool. So, let's stick a prop on it. <laughs> I'm scared. You're scared? You yeah. scared? Are you scared? Last time I did it with the forest field, I felt terrible. Alright, let's so put this scared. on here. Can you get my red handled pliers out of the... Yeah. It's uh, the second to the bottom. Second to the bottom. Nope, second to the bottom. There Please? you go. Yes. I haven't balanced anything, but... Rearm it. Okay. I want you to stand. What was that? Oh. Put this out of the way so we don't break it. Make you get safety first. I want you to be over here. Won't it slide? Be right here. Right there. Right there. Sit down. Sit down. Sitting? Yeah. Okay. Terrified. Terrified? Okay, you got the throttle all the way down? Yep. Don't touch it. I'm going to arm the plane. Okay. Now I'm going to hold the plane. You try the throttle. <laughs> Terrifying. Try it. <laughs> that is nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Puts off some power. Puts off some power. Okay, now let me have the remote. Let me have the remote. Grab this right here. Okay. And feel how how how. Uh, I'm just gonna hold so you don't ruin it, but feel how powerful it is. You ready? You ready? You got it. Got it. <laughs> that is some strongness right there. It's pollinated. <laughs> like, it's like seriously pollinated. Hey, Daddy. 
Oh, uh, yes? It's time to go to bed. All right. Where's the glass? thing really pulls, don't it? Daddy, can I use this? Where's I cannot wait to see this thing go. Hey, All right, Daddy. let me disarm it. Yeah. Let me disarm it. What does disarm mean? It means to disarm it. It means mm -hmm. not armed. The opposite of armed. Okay, and Throttle's dead. So we're safe to be around it again. And uh, that's that. <laughs> so congratulations. What do you think about that? Scary and awesome. Yeah, it's, it's like, there's a power there. You can like really feel it. How much weight do you think I was pulling on you? Mm, maybe four or five? Yeah, what did we measure? Do you remember? Three, like three. three. Yeah, three or four. Yeah, something like that. I can't remember. And I actually changed the motor configuration just ever so slightly. So it puts out just a little bit more than what we measured. Okay. Also uses a little more power. Yeah. Daddy, can I see it go? Yeah, you just did, right? Barely. Oh, that was it. That's, that was it. That was all, that's all it does. That's it. So can I try holding it? Sure. No, I'll put it on. Yeah. Got some weight to it. Or Got some weight. No. No, hold Come over here. I'm getting goggles on. Please don't oh. smash anything. Don't make me go with it. What do I hold it? Over on the other side, like Riley was. Right here? Yeah. And where do I hold it? The back of the plane. Right here? Yes. On the bottom and the top. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna arm it. Go. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Wow. It's even more colder. It's pulling, ain't it? Move it. Yeah. Do I let go now? Yeah. Let me disarm it first. Alright, it's disarmed. That thing pulls, huh? Mm hmm. Pretty strong, right? Cool stuff. See all the wiring? Made it all nice? Yep. Got it all good? Stuff. Any last words? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Alright, good job. I'm not Boom. Tired. We gotta get the uh, stuff done. Uh, the, the, the battery the battery data. We gotta get the battery data. <laughs> gotta get the battery data. We gotta get the battery data. What's battery data? We need to know about that battery. That one right there. I wanna know more about that. We got the other battery data. We got the voltage of the onboard battery and the bat power rail, but we do not have actual battery measurements yet. The VESC is measuring them. I just need to figure out a way to get the data. Oh, the Ardrew pilot is driving me crazy! Driving me crazy! Anyway. Alright. Tomorrow you can clean up my shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What the heck are we doing? Hey, Dad. Uh, we're... Yeah, pencil sharpener. That's good. Um, we are taxing our plane around that we haven't really done a whole lot about. Yeah, we Daddy, haven't done anything for months. Well, I've been doing stuff for been months. You've doing coding and figuring out this one problem. Yeah, which it literally drove me crazy. We are literally out on the street. We have no wing. <laughs> yeah. So we don't fall over. And the, it's windy today, so we can't fly it. Tomorrow, we're gonna tomorrow, we could tomorrow, it's birthday tomorrow. It's tomorrow is my birthday. And then two more days is the life of birthday. Yep. No, one more day after that. Oh yeah. Whatever. Two more days. Anyway, so the goal was to just get this thing working, so we could go fly it. But it's been so windy here. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to set the camera here and hope the wind doesn't knock it over. <laughs> and I'm just going to taxi it around. So we got the arm disarm. So now it's dead, but now we're armed. So that's our arm disarm. And we are going to taxi this thing around the road. So we got front rear, front wheel steer. This is the wrong prop, I'm just using it for testing.
It's got a bit of, bit of a pitch angle, huh? Uh, whenever it flies, it'll be back further. When it's taxi, it's forward like that. Wow. That's really awesome, dude. That is super cool. It's flying on the ground! <laughs> I kind of wonder if we can tip it over. Like, we don't want it to tip it over. If we can. So I saw it moving around on the computer. Did you? Yeah. So this is this is logging our flight. So we're gonna see if the logger and the data and the battery and the everything works. Cool. <laughs> nice turn. <laughs> See that wheel? I've never drove I've never driven a plane on the on the ground like this. That's crazy looking. So wait, what's turning? Problem? <laughs> the, um, okay, I'm having way the tail, too much the, fun. The rudder? Yeah. So that, that's the rudder moving it? No, it's the wheel in the front and the rudder. Yeah, the rudder turns it. Whoa! I think we've had a success with that. That was yeah. fun! That's a success, Riley. That thing falls by. It's got the wrong prop on it. The other one will be different. It's super cool. Okay, so this arm. You don't cut yourself off. And now we should have stopped the log. So we can actually grab the log off here and see if it actually works. Whew, that was, that, that is definitely gonna fly. I was like not even close to full throttle. All right, close. you want to grab the camera? It's still on. I can't see anything. Let it for a minute and let it track GPS for longer. Woo! That's intense. That's intense, Riley. Just imagine, I have to actually fly it. Yeah, that would be. That really was cool. already like my legs are a little wheezy. Now I have to actually fly it in the air. But it's been so windy lately that we just haven't even been able to try. And so, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. All right, let's go see if we can get some log data. Wow, let's see what our map looks like. Ugh. No, cheers, Larry. It works, Nathan. Okay. We can't really see anything, but it would have been flying around. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, I did this now. <laughs> okay. Pretty cow. 
Really? Okay. You, you have to let it dry first before you try to wipe it off. Okay. Now you can wipe it off. I'm going to go get it. No, that's fine. Okay. So, we have... Uh, we have one of these. This is a different style. But we have one of these. What? Oh, that's our battery. No. What is that? It just leaked everywhere. I told you that one leaks everywhere. Should, should I get a different color? See that? Leaking everywhere. Should I get a different color so that it doesn't leak? I'll just wipe it off. They get on me? Or my clothes? No. Okay. I don't know why this they leak, but they do. I like ours better. These are better, but they leak, so just pay attention if it leaks a bunch more than don't, don't, uh, use So it. I keep it up? Not no, now. sideways. Well, yeah, let's keep it up, sure. Okay, anyway, back to this. We have one of these. This is a different style, but what is this? Battery charger? Battery? It's a, it's a motor controller, remember? You mean for our motor? Oh. Remember? Yeah. This is called a VESC. V E S C and E S C electronic speed controller. The V stands for Vetter because he designed it, and it runs on open source software. That is the V E S C software. So, what this has is it has a bunch of pins, and I O, and it has a port for your your motor control with the uh, remote control. That's how we're doing it. Okay, <clears throat> it's gonna be hard to see probably, but okay. So, this has a bunch of other inputs and outputs and I also have my Bluetooth hooked up to it so we can connect to it with okay. my phone. That's how we program it out in the field. It also has this port. This port is the CAN bus. Okay? okay. And what is CAN bus? CAN bus is a protocol that's usually used in cars and other uh, things that are really need to be reliable. It's just a data bus where you data... Like motorcycles? Like motorcycles or planes or trains or things that are like important but can't fail. So it's a pretty cool protocol. Um, but I can't get that data into Arduino Pilot, which is what our flight controller is. Because I want to read the data from here, like the battery voltage and the current and the RPM, the battery used. I want to take the data from here, which can be sent out on the can and put it into our flight controller so we can use it for something like if the battery gets low, fly home. Stuff like that. Okay, but okay. Uh, th there's also thing a thing called UAV CAN, which is a new protocol that's used for like this sort of reason. But Arju Pilot doesn't really have it. It has it, but it doesn't. It's really not documented well, and I can't quite figure it out. So basically, I'm not going to use that protocol. But what I am going to do is take the data that comes out of this CAN bus, bring it over to the Linux computer, the BeagleBone. And I'm going to convert it, and I'm going to send it to the other pins on the BeagleBone, the analog pins on the BeagleBone, and other things. <clears throat> and we're going to use that data in that way. So we're going to still use the BeagleBone, we're still going to use a CAN bus, but we're not going to use the CAN directly. We're going to convert it in Python and, and send it out pins and send it back in analog pins. And it's a bit of a workaround, but I know it's going to work, so that's what we're going to do. I've been trying to get this work for over a month, and I just, I'm tired of it. So you just pick a different one? So I'm going to go a different way. So I'm going to use CAN bus, like I just said, but I'm going to convert the data over and send it out in the other pins. Okay. We need to make a plan. <clears throat> okay. We have CAN bus. Write that up in the corner somewhere. It's spelt just like it sounds. This pretty. One S, though. Can bus. Can bus. Got can it. bus. Yes. Now you. Can and a bus. Yes. A bus is the data type ports. Can is the protocol. I don't know what it stands for. Um, I forgot. I'll put it on the screen in the editing. So we got can bus. Okay. And we got here's the kind of data that we got. We got battery voltage. Okay. So we need to write that down. And we got battery current. Now make a row down. Yeah. Okay, battery current, voltage current. Then we got motor current. 
and then you can put C for current, or actually put V. Don't we'll let it dry first. Just write motor on the next line, and we'll erase it. That one should be C, and that one should be V. V. So, yeah, V as in voltage. Oh, v. And current as in current. So we have two different sources of measurement. We have the battery right. current and voltage, and we have the motor current and voltage. Those are two different things. We do want to know the difference between them potentially. We also have motor temperature. Mm. Okay, so motor temp. That's short for temperature. Okay, so we have motor temp, and we have the FET, F-E-T, or the motor controller. Just put E-S-C. E. S. S. C. C. Temp. That's the FET temp. So that's the controller temperature. We have the controller temperature data, and we also have the RPM of the motor. So RPM. Okay, and we also have other data, but I don't think we can use it anyway. So we also have a few things which we won't write down. We have the current used, like the current consumed, the current used, the, the milliamp hours and amp hours, which is what I really wanted to use a CAN bus for, but we can't. So I know that we can get some of these values into our... Beagle bomb. Beagle bomb. Okay. Um, now we only have so many pins. We have eight analog pins, and I think only four of them are accessible to us. So we need to pick which four we want. Now like RPM, this. RPM is actually a a GPIO pin or a general purpose input output pin. It's called GPIO, general purpose input output. So on the RPM. Next to it, put a dash or a line, a line. Right here? Yeah. Okay, that is G P I O. Okay, that's we're gonna use a GPIO pin for that. So we have four other pins we can use. What do we want to know? Motor I'm not temp? I'm not um we kinda do wanna want we kinda do want to know the motor temp, but I'm not convinced yet of what the input is for that. So, and I don't have a sensor on the motor right now. Yeah, that too. I do have an ESC temp, but I kind of really want to know the motor, current and voltage, and the battery current and voltage. Okay. So, put, ne put battery V. Yep. Right here? Yeah, put a dash. And we're going to use an analog pin. A-I-N. A-I-N. And we're going to use pin number... Technically, it's zero. Okay, and then the next one. Yep, we're going to use analog pen one. And let me get the beagle bone sheet and print it out. It's pretty sure we only got four. So here, right here is the analog pens. We have zero, one, two, and three. Now, analog pen four is somewhere, and I don't know where it is, so maybe we can find it. Oh no, there is, it starts at zero, so that's all four of them. Five is not used, six is the circuitry voltage, seven is the circuitry voltage, and eight is the circuitry voltage. So, if we wanted to do motor voltage, motor, motor. Yeah, we can use analog pin two. And then if we want to know the motor current, we can use analog pin three. So that is the only analog pins that we have on our beagle bone. And we're going to use a GPIO pin on here somewhere for the RPM. The RPM. RPM. Revolutions per minute. RPM. So we can read the ESC temperature, but we do not have a motor temperature probe, but I can put one on there. I kind of want to put one on there because we can get the data. Why not use it? What I don't know is how we gather those temperatures. So I don't know how to gather the temperatures because I haven't looked at that. So just put a dash by them and leave them blank. Now we need to pick a GPIO pin and I don't know which one of these is connected to what yet. So we'll leave it blank for the number, but it's GPIO something. Just, just leave it blank. You, no, you already did it. So you see how it says GPIO? Mm -hmm. And then GPIO 
0317, 0320, 0117. So these are input pins to our Linux computer. I don't know what uses what yet, so I'll figure that out. So, so far, that's what our plan is. We're going to connect those to that, and I'm going to write a Python file that'll take the CAN bus data and convert it. Oh, we have to send that out. Okay, so put it, put an, like an arrow with both directions, like an arrow going both directions okay. on the analog pins. Anal all these? Yep, yeah. and the GPIO. Like an, like an arrow on both ends, yeah. Mm. And then you need to write GPIO on, actually you need to write PWM on, this one. on all of them. So just write PWM because I don't know which P pins they are yet. W -M. Yeah, on all of those. Because we have to find out which pins we can use. We need to connect those to, to the PWM pins. I don't think there's a way to write directly to an input that's being read. Otherwise, that would be cool. So I think what we got to do is make a bunch of jumper wires. And we're going to connect. These two as well? No, I don't know what we're doing there yet. Just these so far? Yeah. Except for these. Yeah. So what would be really cool is to be able to just send the data through the BeagleBone without having to run wires between the PWM pins and the analog pins. But I don't think that's going to happen. So basically what we got to do is connect these wires from the analog pins to the PWM pins. We're going to write a CAN bus program that reads the CAN bus, converts it to a signal, sends it out of the PWM and into the analog pin, and this is how we're going to get our data. It's a bit of a workaround, but it's going to work, so that's all that matters. So that's our plan. We'll figure out which pins go to what as we figure that out. We'll write them on the board. And when we're done, we'll make sure this is accurate so people can follow along if they wish. Okay, that's all I got. That was a lot of talking. That took us 15 minutes to write that. Yeah, bedtime. <laughs> wow, that was a lot. That was a lot. Ah. She's eating. Okay. What's that facial expression for? Why are you videotaping? Anyway, that was a really long video. I see your hands. That was a really you long better video. better not put that in there. I, it's already in there. I would be pissed. Oh, well, she's just going to have to be mad. She's not going to watch it anyway. You're going to delete it. You're not putting that in there. It's already in there. I'm recording this. Right, but it's you can live. delete it. No, it's live right now. We're live. No, you're not. Yeah, I can't. Look, it's like recording right now as right, we Right, you're speak. recording, but you're recording in the program. <laughs> Where no, you I'm can not. Delete. It's live. This is live. It is not live. It's real life. It's not. <laughs> it's not live. What was I going to say? <laughs> if he doesn't want to die, he's going to take it out. You could get in trouble for that. The government doesn't like when people threaten people. Even though you're married to me. <laughs> they would understand. Do, they, do you have the authority? They would understand. They have, she has the authority to say this. But she can't make it without me, so I'll be fine. I promise. Um, anyway. <laughs> We're going down. <laughs> anyway, I actually did get this CAN bus data working. It was a giant pain in the butt because the BeagleBone Blue actually has a overlay on top of the board that is used specifically for... The BeagleBone stuff, so it's already reading and writing PWM chips or out to um, other chips on the board to control other things like motor controllers and stuff. So I basically literally soldered wires to these tiny little pins on these chips, extracted the data, and finally got that kind of working, but it wasn't very stable. And ultimately I wasted like a month of time, drove me a little bit crazy, and at the end of the day we ended up flying with this controller in the next video, but You'll see in the next video, the controller didn't have a high enough EE RPM to get enough thrust to actually do the job. So I ditched the whole thing. So anyway, this is all here as memorabilia of failure, but I wanted to explain it. Okay. You got anything else to say? <laughs> Besides the fact I'm going down! I'm going down. <laughs> yeah, but you like Just your... Just like your plane. But you like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, bye.